Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are going to be doing something a little different. We are going to be polishing some silver. So in order to prepare for this process, I have placed some paper towels here. And to protect the surface, I just put some parchment paper under there. I probably should have gone with the wax paper, but I'm not expecting to make a huge mess. So, I have obtained some silver plate. Um, I found these at a yard sale last weekend. I got six pieces um, all together for only two dollars. This one is actually not too bad. You can see a little tarnish there. It's darker there. They all have stickers on them. We're just going to peel these off in preparation for cleaning. So this one was originally 50 cents. I think this one is my favorite. This is beautiful. It's a little piece of something on it. This is just, um, you could put maybe snacks on here. With some hors d'oeuvres or something. It's a piece of plastic wrap stuck to the back. Um, I don't know if this is silver plate or not. Some of them, let me see. It's from International Silver Company. Some of these pieces have stickers on them saying that they are silver plate. And you can see it's tarnished. It may be hard to get um, down in the grooves. But, uh, but we're going to give it a try. I can use Q-tips if needed. Here's the sticker. This one was also 50 cents originally. It's quite reflective. <laughs> It's just so pretty. I love the detail on this plate. It's very nice. And this one is really cool too. You have a bowl and it has quite a bit of tarnish around the sides. Not so bad here, but around the, the edge here. It's very pretty though. It has such nice detail. It's heavy. Now this is from Reed and Barton, uh, the world's finest silver plate. Reed and Barton, 1201. That's what it says. It's really hard to see, but it's etched into it right there. This one was also 50 cents. There. So we have this nice, pretty bowl there. And this little thing. It's almost like a little sugar bowl or something. This is also from Reed and Barton. Silver plate. Quite a bit of tarnish on this one. <laughs> it's pretty pretty bad, but it has these cute little handles. I it, Maybe it originally had a lid. Um, 50 cents for that one. I don't know, I kind of like the way it looks with the tarnish on it. It's it's almost like it's supposed to look like that. It's actually kind of cool, but we're going to try to um, remove the tarnish anyway. And then I also have this little thing. It's like a little creamer. You can just put some cream in there and just pour that. This is also from Reed and Martin. And like the other one I just showed you, um, there are these little pieces of felt that have been glued onto the bottom. Um, I don't think I'm going to try to remove them. We'll just try to work around them. And it has the Reed and Parton sticker there. It has about the same level of tarnish as the, uh, the little sugar bowl had. Very cute handle. You can tell they, I mean, they kind of go together. The, uh, the handles are kind of the same kind of design on them. It has this little part here, and it's the same here. 
Of course, it's smaller on this because it's, you know, the proportions are different. So this was also originally 50 cents. These little prices are on here on masking tape. And then the last piece I have is a little, it's like a little serving tray. It's very pretty. Um, you could put the creamer in the sugar bowl on here. This is from Lunt, L-U-N-T, Silver Plate. I'm not familiar with them. But it has this little red and silver sticker on the back. Okay, i just take this off. This was also 50 cents. You can see the tarnish on the sides there. So what are we going to use to remove all this tarnish? We are going to use Tarnax. I just bought this and I will admit I have not um, done anything like this in many, many years. My mom used to have some silver plate, kind of like the stuff we're going to work with today. And I did um, use something, it's probably the same type of thing on that, on those items, but it was many years ago, probably 25 years ago, I did that for her. So I'm a little out of practice, but um, we're going to see how it goes. So we're going to be using the Tarnex and it says in big all capital letters, you must wear gloves while using the Tarnex. So I'm going to be wearing gloves while I do it. I don't want to, I don't want to get this stuff on my hands because it's, they're very adamant. The number one direction is to wear gloves when you do this. So I'm going to absolutely wear my gloves. And then... To apply the Tarnex to the items, we have Swiss Purrs. It's like the perfect thing for this video. <laughs> These are Super Jumbo Swiss Purrs Cotton Balls. I love these. I, I use these all the time. I use these to remove my eye makeup, and then I always wash my face before I go to bed, but I will remove the bulk of my eye makeup with this, and then wash my face. So I use these mainly for that. But I had just bought a brand new bag of Swispers cotton balls. So we're going to use some of these on our items. Let me go ahead and I'm just going to take some out of here. I love the fact that it has a zipper seal so you can take out some and then just seal the bag up. It's very nice. You can see they're 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 pretty big. I mean, these are good size cotton balls. Every now and then you get a little one like that. They are bigger than most cotton balls. I really like them. Okay. So, we're going to just move the cotton balls over here. Like that. Just put them there. All right. I'm going to open this up. There's a seal in there. I had to um, break the seal. Oh, I also have some pointed tip cotton swabs. I thought these would be great for um, getting into grooves and stuff. These are great also. I use these a lot when I'm painting my nails. Um, I would just dip them in nail polish remover and just kind of get the little places I messed up. Yeah, they're, they're wonderful for that. That's the main thing I use them for. I'm going to stick some right there. And put these gloves on. Okay. Let's see what we want to start with. 
start with this one. This doesn't look too bad. Just gonna put some on this cotton swab. I'm gonna make sure to put the lid back on there. Look how fast it's removing the tarnish. Wow. It's like magic. <laughs> that is incredible. I'll just come up the side. I did check ahead of time. I did um, read the back and it is, um, you can use it on silver plate. It doesn't have to be pure silver. You can also use this stuff on um, silver jewelry. Actually, I have some that would benefit from a little, a little polishing. I'm just kind of rubbing it on there like this and just going out. Look at that. That is really amazing. I'm not even really having to do much. I'm just smoothing it onto the, the, the tray, the platter. And as it sits, it's just kind of dissolving the tarnish away. Wow. That's pretty cool. That is incredible. Look at the shine on that. I'm going to turn it. And there's still plenty on the cotton ball. I'm just applying it on here. Coming on across the edges here. You can kind of tell the areas you missed because they still have tarnish. Now this one might have been easier because it wasn't as tarnished as some of the other pieces. We will soon see. Now I do have to rinse this and dry it. And I'm going to do that. First we have to That is just incredible. I cannot believe how much that has changed this tray. Isn't that amazing? Wow. It looks like a completely different tray. Look at the very edges. And this area right in here, it's kind of rough. I may not be able to do much about that. Turn it over. I'm just rubbing some on the back. had to get more tarnax. I just soaked, you know, just put a little on this cotton ball. I can do the whole tray. You have to get right up to the edges there.
will see the finished product. Okay, there we go. I have rinsed it and dried it. Look how shiny it is. My goodness. That is really amazing. So that's the first piece there. Or it's like a little serving tray. Very nice. Next, let's tackle the sugar bowl. We're going to do the sugar bowl and the creamer together. I'm going to start with the sugar bowl. And I'm going to start with the same cotton ball, the same cotton swab. I may have to um, use a different one, but look. I'm just buffing it in a circular motion with this Tarnex soaked cotton ball. Wow, look at that. That is incredible. I just, I cannot get over how quickly it transforms these things. My goodness. That is something else. I'm just kind of going up under this edge here. Look at that. Oh, that is so nice. Again, in a circular motion. We're coming up on the handle. Well, that part just came right off. Oh my goodness. Get that little spot. Right there. And I'm still using the same cotton ball. I have not applied more Tarnix to the, the cotton ball at all. I'm trying to get under the handle there. That is amazing. Now I'm going to have to try to work around these felt pads and the sticker. Oh, that was no problem. <laughs> wow. Okay. What about the handle itself? Oh, it shines right up as well. We're going to get the, the big areas now. We may come back with a Q-tip and get the smaller areas. Let's get the underside of the handle. Oh my. Now we're on the, the larger part again. I have to kind of get right there. Yeah, I think a Q-tip will come in handy there. It's coming around this way. The same thing. I mean, you can see here how dark. This is what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. You can see me. Hey! <laughs> wow. It's like magic. <laughs> same cotton ball. I think a bottle of this stuff would go a long way. I mean, it's a 12 ounce bottle. It says you can use it on sterling silver, silver plate, platinum, copper, gold, and diamonds. Wow. It's very versatile. Let's try to shine that 
up a little. It's easier, I think, to clean it with the cotton ball. But you do have these little areas that are kind of hard to get to. Okay. Well, that is a really remarkable transformation. Now we do have to do the inside because the inside is tarnished too. So I'm just smoothing it around in there. I have to get up on the, this outer rim here too. it's already changed I me. Mean, you can see I haven't really done this side yet. Look at that. I think I'm going to get another cotton ball though. That one's starting to not be so great. Let's try a fresh one. Okay, I have another. I have a fresh cotton ball. And I'm going to go back to it. to go back over it with the q-tip. Honestly. I think it's okay without it. Alright. Look at that. Goodness. Okay, now before we rinse this one, let's do the, uh, the little uh, creamer thing. so adorable. It's like a miniature water pitcher. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. Alright, let's see what this does. There's a little dent in it right there. Somebody probably dropped it at some point. It's okay though, it's still pretty. just incredible. <laughs> We're coming up around the handle again. I really should have taken a picture of these before we started. I just, I just now thought of that. <laughs> I wish I had done that. I didn't think about it. I can stop and take a picture of the other stuff we haven't done yet. I'll do that. I'm gonna get the underside of the handle. I'll 
be honest, I was not expecting it to to turn out that nice. I really wasn't. Look, and you can see where I had some of the Tarnix on my gloves, and it has already come into contact with the creamer. Or the cream pitcher, or whatever you want to call this thing. You can call it Frank. I won't call it Frank. This is Frank. Getting down on the, down at the bottom here. course, working around the little felt pads. There. Look at that. That is just incredible. So you can see the inside. You can see what it looked like. And a little bit of the Tarnix <laughs> dripped down in there. reach to the very bottom. Well, that is just absolutely remarkable. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Look at these pretty things. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to go rinse these off and dry them. And then we will see them. They probably won't look that different, but I have to go rinse them now. All right, there we go. I have rinsed them and dried them. Oh, they look beautiful. <laughs> Just absolutely. That one is not as dark as it looks. It's the shadow. But look at that. Goodness. <laughs> that is just fascinating to me. I just cannot believe it. Okay, so that's those. Next, we have this cool little tray. This one probably won't be too bad. It's um, mainly just up there. So I'm just going to grab this same cotton swab, cotton, cotton ball. It's very wet. I'm just going to rub it on there. get some into this detail here. Let it kind of soak in and my help get that tarnish off. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to clean that off or not. It's almost like something messed it up there. Wow, you can see a, a definite difference between this and this. A big difference. It's not a 
small and it's a cotton ball. Does the trick. See what I'm doing? I'm taking the cotton ball and just kind of gets the tarnix into this little nooks and crannies in there, like that. See as the tarnax soaks into this little this trim here, you just have to just buff it a little bit and it removes the tarnax. on the back, on the underside here. It's not as shiny as the top, but we can still make it look better. Tarnish seems to seems to be a little bit worse up here. I just want to squeeze some down in there.
it's not as dark as it was. <laughs> Maybe I should try the Q-tip. I think, um, if I just... Let's get a little bit on the Q-tip. That's really going to work any better than the cotton ball did. Because the Q-tip doesn't really get down in there any more than the cotton ball does. Because the cotton ball can squish up pretty small like this. So I don't know that the Q-tip is really going to make much of a difference. plate in church. <laughs> Something about the trim on it looks like a collection plate. <laughs> okay. I think this is the one I was using. Big circular motion. This part's not that bad, really. You get up here and it gets worse. brighter. <laughs> it's already brighter. Just taking my fingernail and kind of getting it down in that little groove right there.
you can definitely see what I haven't done. Flip it over. Ooh. texture. a new cotton swab or a new cotton ball. I need to change hands. <laughs> My hands getting tired. I wonder if I can do this left-handed. I grew up in a family of left-handers. I should be able to. I was taught how to do everything by left-handed. I'm just trying to get down into this groove here. I don't think a Q-tip would work any better. Because, see, yeah, I can squish the cotton ball up in there. I think it actually works better than a Q-tip would.
harder to get some of this stuff off for some reason. Well, I got most of it. Um, some of this stuff isn't... It's like it's not coming off. I don't know why, but it's... It doesn't want to come off. But, I think it looks better. <laughs> yeah, some of it is just stubborn. Like it doesn't want to come off. I don't know why. But, we will rinse it and dry it and see how it looks after that. Well, this one didn't shine up quite as pretty as the others, but, you know what? still better than it was. <laughs> I think the underside did better than the top. <laughs> Look at that. It's still an improvement. And then finally, we have this bowl here. And it has the some detail around the edges too. We'll see what we can do with that. Oh, I think this is going to look nice. Look at just that little, that little area. And that. <laughs> this is going to look pretty. It's going pretty fast. is so incredible. is amazing. Okay, I'll turn 
there's the, look at that. Wow. I'm gonna turn it over. Now we have, of course, the underside. the tarnish on it, it would have made a cool Halloween candy dish. I don't know, it just looked, it had sort of a Halloweenish look to it. ball just slowly <laughs> compresses down into nothing. I need another one. See? I suppose I could work with two at a time. But that would make too much sense.
Okay. Now it needs to be rinsed and dried. As you can see for now, how remarkably different that looks. So I'm going to go rinse it and dry it and then we'll take a look. Okay, there we go. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely stunning. So there's the bowl. That turned out so pretty. And the plate, which didn't completely um, shine up as much as I would hope, but um, it's definitely an improvement. And then we have this tray. sugar bowl. They look good. Very pretty. And then finally, we have this little cute little tray here. So they turned out really nice. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you again really soon.